What's up YouTube or Instagram, wherever you're watching this at. Welcome to my new video on Starling on Cinemas. That's Cinemas with an S. And today I'll be giving you my review on Get On Up. Before I begin, if you are new to this video, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment on the section below. But most importantly, watch me. Or if you're watching this on Instagram, you already know what to do. It's very simple. Like and leave a comment on the section below if you have anything to say. Now let's get to it. Hit it! So, get on up. Centers on James Brown. Of course, it's the story of James Brown with the title being based on one of his songs or one of his lyrics at least. Played by Chadwick Boseman, James Brown was born in extreme poverty in 1933, South Carolina, and survived abandonment, abuse, and jail to become one of the most influential musicians of the 21st century. Because he had that feeling, baby, baby, he got that feeling now, and you don't know what they do to him, because he was down in misery. Hi, yeah. So, in the beginning of his career, he joined the gospel group as a teenager, but the jazz and blues along the Chitlin circuit became his springboard to fame with the help of the man himself, Lil Richard. Although his backup musicians came and went, Brown retained the ability to mesmerize audiences with his music, signature moves, and sexual energy. The story. Now, the story of James Brown is one of the most compelling journeys of any African-American icon. It is a story that randomly bounces from one, from different time periods in his career, from his gospel singing to his hard times to his famous show business. So technically, this movie doesn't go in chronological order. It just bounces from random different time periods. Like it starts off with him in the 80s and then it goes back to the 60s and 30s and so on. The movie properly spotlights the things that made James Brown different from most singers with his tough and hard voice, hey! his attitude, and his onstage charisma. <laughs> also, he didn't receive tons of racism, which is a good thing because anywhere, because the music loved his music. Because the people, excuse me, the people loved his music so much, they decided to look past the melanin. Hmm. It was also one of those music biopics where the lead singer goes solo, which is a common trope in show business, not just with these old bands, but it seems like every band. Like, think of your, the, the favorite, the band you've been following for so long, and they split. Like, every band we know has split because the lead singer's gone solo. Like, in sync, Justin Timberlake went solo uh fifth harmony camilla cabello went solo and a couple of the other members went solo one direction harry styles went solo and the list goes on nevertheless get on up specifically is a great and entertaining way to watch the life of the godfather of soul the mr dynamite the number one soul man soul man number one soul brother number one sorry to go from a broken record to a smash hit with everybody around the world. The characters. So once again, just like Jackie Robinson, James Brown, Chadwick Boseman, excuse me, Chadwick Boseman truly becomes the character he plays in this 2014 bio biography. Boseman perfectly captures everything that James Brown is all about, like what he's known for, like the kind of person he is on stage with both the essence and the attitude of the icon. And let's not forget about them groovy dance moves and the footwork on stage. Chadwick did state in an interview that when making this movie, he did his own dances. He sung his own lyrics. I mean, ain't his own lyrics. It's James Brown's lyrics. But he sung it with his voice. And he had all that energy. And he turned down the road several times. And it's pretty obvious why. I mean, if you see how he dressed on stage, nobody would think first to assign for the role. Now... While the majority of his actions destined him to rise to fame, like being in poverty and being desperate for food and whatnot and clothes, it was his childhood where he suffered the most from his parents' rough relationship to the poverty they had to live through. Just like I said before, he started out in the gospel group with him and five other singers, but with a little help from Little Richard. That's right, I said it. Shut up. He and his group was able to get an even bigger recognition from cities like Harlem and Paris. As time went on, 
in his career, things changed. James Brown became such a powerhouse name, such a household name to the people and to the public that he was able to carry on the fame and the title alone while the rest of his ex-members became record producers. Like I said, these things, these things happen in these bands. You know, bands split and the lead singer goes solo. Rotten Tomatoes gives Get On Up an 80% score. Chadwick Boseman will be remembered for a lot of things in this role. And the role of James Brown, James Brown, sorry, he'll be a lot of things. He'll be remembered for a lot of things in his career. James Brown is no exception. Like I said, he plays this iconic role, this iconic figure, just as well as Rami Malek played Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody or how Jamie Foxx did Ray Charles in that biopic in 2004. From embracing the moves, the energy, the charisma, the style, and most importantly, the soul. I will give this movie eight SOs out of 10. So that is my review on Get On Up. You can let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And whether this is your favorite Chadwick performance outside of Black Panther, or if you've heard of, if you've even heard of James Brown, what is your favorite song? You can let me know. I'm not, I haven't listened to most of his music, but I'm pretty familiar with who James Brown is because of the footwork and the, and the funky voice in the, in the music with the, I feel good. Mm -hmm. I knew that I would now. Mm -hmm. I feel good. So good, mm -hmm. so good. I got you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.